Do 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 do. Magic for normies. Hey everybody, it's Magic for Normies. What is up? Hi. Uh, I'm Pixie Kitten. This is Zuby, and we are here tonight to talk about Magic the Gathering. Yet, yeah, have you played the new Burning Normie Crusade expansion in Magic? Aw, uh, no, not yet. Hey, Kyoji! Hey, Kyoji. Cat Crack Fever, thank you for the gifted sub! Oh, snap. What is it's up? The Pat Crack. Hi, Pat Crack Fever. Hi, Kyoji. Hi, Baltan. What's everyone doing tonight? Well, actually, we know what you're doing. You're hanging out with us, and you're having, like... Cause... The best time. We're awesome. That's why. Yeah, I because don't. we're awesome. Yeah. So this is um, Burning Crusade Normies. What it? What's it called? Wrath of the Normies. The, the Wrath of the Burning Normies. Normies yeah. I'm. Um, I'm gonna. I'm working on trying to get geared up for Normie Knacks. <laughs> yeah. <And> then <laughs> get ready, cause <laughs> when the next patch drops, you just better be ready. You're gonna want to kill this boss first. Yes. I, yes. I don't know. I don't know. And, and then, then you got to do 10-man heroic before you get to 25 uh, mythic. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's true. It's true. It's true. So, yo, um, actually, we're not talking about whatever that was. We're talking about Magic the Gathering. Hey, oh, we are? Oh, okay. There's a tiny video of me in your video. Oh, that's <laughs> It's the weird. Discord. What? It's the Discord Why video. Why is that? I mean, it's always there. Is it really? Yeah. Is it? Do I need to change something on my end? No, or? it's not you. It's me. I. Okay. Okay. So some like my OBS had some sort of update or something. So it was, it was weird. It had to reset where your video like was placed on my OBS. Oh, okay. And so I guess I had it set up before so that it like had that part of my, of your screen cut out where my little video was, but now it's not. I had to re oh, do that's it. Weird. So I'm there. Is it okay? Oh, well, yeah, no, no, it's fine. I, I just want to make sure it's like not screwed up for you or anything. No, it's not. Okay. I, I just see it on the stream. I'm in okay. two places. Yo. Yo, Pixieception. <laughs> what the frig? Um, okay. So, uh, you know what? The first thing we're going to do before we get into anything is mention our wonderful sponsor, Cardsphere, who sponsors mm -hmm. all of our content, both yes. Zuby and mine. Um, yeah, check out cardsphere.com. It is where I sell and buy all of my magic cards. So, yes, so do I. You should all do it too. We love Cardsphere. And it is so easy to use. I've already turned on uh, one of my good friends on the Cardsphere. Oh, nice. Um, and he's he's selling. So so he he's one of those who buys and sells collections and all that stuff. Oh, and wow. That's a lot of work. Yeah, except for like the super big money ticket items, because he likes to do local for that. Um, he'll do like everything else on Card Sphere now. Nice, that's awesome. Which is cool. Yeah, way to go, Zuby. Got got and, you and a new Card Sphere you know, user. What can I say? What can wow. I say? Yeah, Card Sphere no. must love you. Of course they do. I mean, of have they seen me? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> uh, yes. So let's um, find out if we have any announcements from our host tonight. So, do you have any? No. I don't really have anything going on. Just kind of the same old, same old stuff for me. Nothing new or different at the moment. Yeah, we were talking about this before we were going live, and I'm trying to think. I'm sure there's something. Oh, well, I mean, I guess I can mention my five-year stream. Oh, yeah, That I'm yeah, trying yeah, to put yeah. the 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 12-hour the, the stream I'm trying to do on June 26th. Yes. Um, can try to play EDH all day. And I'm okay. Getting, I'm getting people signed up. Okay, so, yeah. I was wondering, like, were, what are you going to stream for this 12-hour stream? Like, it's just going to be EDH? Yeah, just EDH will be the easiest thing. Wow. 
Well, I mean, sometimes you play and a game can go for hours and right? hours. So I figured I'd get like maybe five to six games of EDH in, in 12 okay. hours. <laughs> wow. I guess so. A lot. Yeah, that is a lot to do all in one sitting. Are you going to be okay? Yeah. Well, I mean, there's going to be, you know, potty breaks and all sure, that. Sure, of course. But even still, like, just, like, I don't know. I feel like that would be kind of mind-numbing. Yeah, that's why I'm going to, like, mentally prepare myself for it. Because it's a lot. Because it's, it's not just playing magic. It's also, um, you know, having to be on the camera for that yeah. amount of time, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's a yeah. lot. Yeah, it's a lot. for sure. But, but um, other it'll be than, fun than, overall. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Celebrate five years of the podcast. Um, That's amazing. Five I know, years. right? I never thought I'd make it past six months. <laughs> I know. Um, like, when you start making content, it's just kind of like, you don't. I didn't think about, like, a future, like, years ahead. I was just like, yeah. oh, let's just do this thing. It'll be fun. Whatever. Well, yeah, but, yeah. I started. Yeah, I started podcasting because. It was quicker than writing articles because mm. I, I, I was writing a lot of magic articles at the time, but it was getting to be time consuming. Yeah, it and, can be. And podcasting was just sort of a quicker way to get my thoughts out. And now I figure like I'll give it about three months and now five years later. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So. Well, that's awesome. And it's not like. I don't know. I mean, I feel like now you're doing a lot of interviews, but. In the past, oh, yeah. it wasn't just all interviews that you did. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Right. So th th it's that's kind what of I evolved feel... over time. Yeah. It's what I like the most, like doing the interviews yeah. and all that. No no one wants to hear me talk about um, talk about magic or anything, because I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's like, what kind of content can you make for magic? Like, you can, you can like write about new cards that come out or like make deck lists or yeah. whatever and i'm just like i can't do anything like that because i'm not actually good at magic yeah yeah and especially if you're not interested in that it's gonna come across your content yeah and all that like that, that that's why like i started writing articles again this year but it's been about cube because i love cube yeah and all that love talking about it but as far as any kind of competitive stuff like, e even talking about trying to build, you know, really good EDH decks, I'm not interested in that. Yeah. You know. Same. Yeah. Um, Baltian says, talk about Wheels and Tutors, how they must be banned because they're bad. Um, did you see that? Did you see there was, like, a Wheels discourse? Oh, I, I guess I saw it or something. Um, I, I, I didn't read any of the discourse, like, the actual... Like, why people think it should be banned? Yeah, but, I didn't either. I mean... I mean... I guess it can be annoying, but... Yeah, of course it can be annoying, but so is, like, five million other cards. Right? And, like, and, it's and just, magic. like... Okay, like, so we have a problem with wheels. Okay, so I have a problem with counter spells. Can I just, like say i'm gonna refuse to play against people who have counter spells in their deck like no of course not that's a style of play it just is what it is i don't know yeah. like and, and same with tutors i mean it, there's there's people that play a lot of tutors and you know you cannot like it you can like it i mean it, it's all depending on what you want to do with your deck because yeah. tutors definitely help make your deck um more consistent yeah and all that and i mean that's fine if that's how you want to play it it's i i have some decks that have a lot of tutors and then i as i'm building newer decks now they have less and less tutors and i just like the randomness of it yeah so i don't know i think i think it's fine yeah and like, it all depends on your play group too like, yeah and of course just like anything discuss with the group what you're playing beforehand I mean, I don't, it, I don't like that thought. What, like, I mean, just like what kind of decks you're playing, you know? Yeah. Are you being sarcastic? Yeah, I am. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my god, oh my god, this is awkward. Oh my god. <laughs> he doesn't like it. Like, I, I'm like shocked. What? Because we always no. do that before we play. No, I know, I know, I know. Okay. And you never want to play against Grand Arbiter. I never understand why. 
It's true. You're going to one day. You are one day. I don't have any decks that would be any good against it. Well, okay. Next time that our friend Pat Crack Fever, Efren, yeah. ever plays something dumb and degenerate, I'll play Grand Arbiter and just focus on our other friend Baltan. Okay, no, no. <laughs> you will not leave me alone, though. Like, if. No, I'll just counterspell everything. I mean, yeah. Grand Arbiter doesn't really have much of a win con in that. It's control. <sighs> gross. It is. It is. It's gross. And then sometimes it just doesn't do anything, which is what blue players like to do <sighs> do nothing. Don't even get me started. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even get me started. So do you still have your Zaxara deck put yeah. together? Yeah. When are you ever going to play it again? I'll play it again if you want me to. You're, you're just, like, not wanting to it's, after the... It's not my play style. The deck is not my play style. I got you. I got you. Like, there's nothing wrong with the deck. I think it's actually a pretty good deck. I know I didn't win our game, but... It's actually a pretty good deck, but it's just, I just, it's not how I like to play. So I'm you. never I like, oh, this is the deck I want to play, you know? Yeah, no, no, I, I got you. I got you. She did not let me win. <laughs> oh, no, no, actually, actually, well, no, you could have killed me that one turn, but you wanted to. I did. I didn't want to just end the game super early. Yeah. Yeah, it, but the I only won because I got that lucky top draw, the the mob rule. Yeah. Because because you were gonna mass manipulate me on the next turn anyway. <laughs> yeah, I was. I really was. Um, mob rule is such a good card, right? I love that one. Oh yeah. It's oh yeah, fun. that was fun. But um, wow, we went like way off topic. Um, what so were we any talking other? About? Well, we first started off announcements. Um, as far as before, <laughs> besides my stream, um. I don't got anything else talking about. Yeah. Me either. Just my same old content. That's that's all for yeah. now. Nothing new. But stay tuned because you never know what's next. Exactly. Exactly. Follow us on social medias. On Do the ticker talkers. I don't have TikTok. Not yet. Sorry. You will. I haven't done it so far, so I probably won't do it now. Yeah, I mean, it's not for everybody. I'm... I, I, I was doing really good with it, like doing mm -hmm. it every day, and then mm -hmm. I sort of fell off. Mm -hmm. And especially, it's been so busy lately. I yeah. haven't been able to. It's, I don't know. I don't want to get on TikTok. Every TikTok that I see, I feel like it's people, like, smearing food across their kitchen counters. And I, it's, like, really <laughs> upsetting. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't want to see this. I don't like this. I don't, I don't, it's. Like, like that that's how you make spaghetti. You you put the sauce all over the the granite counter. No. I hate those videos. Those are oh, the yeah. only TikToks I ever see and I'm just like I can't get on TikTok if this is what it is. Like I can't do it. Oh, I just thought of some um can we talk about a first world problem? Yes, sure. All right, do you have granite countertops mm -hmm. in your kitchen? Can't, okay, so this is my first time ever having granite countertops, right? Ever since my house got, you know, redone. Yes. Um, those things, like, never look dirty. Like, e even though, like, every time, you know, I cook or whatever, I, I wipe off the countertops and whatnot. Uh -huh. And it's like, there's times where, you know, you miss a spot, but you can't tell. Yeah. Because it's like, it looks clean. Yeah. It's just like the... the the way there's like so much variation in it yeah. yeah it's like you can't see crumbs or splatters or anything yeah it's First very misleading right there it's yeah it's so difficult to have granite countertops it really <laughs> is oh my god oh my um god, and it's just the worst <laughs> <laughs> no yeah i know i know what you mean though it's just something i've noticed because i've like I said, i've never had them before i've always had the regular formica yeah countertops mm -hmm. and um, it's pretty annoying. Um, yeah, it's... let me tell you. Well, yeah. and, uh, so I don't know what else, like having a gold toilet seat, it's really difficult. Oh my God. I will say I, I love, made that up. I made that up. I, I love seat. my new kitchen, uh, cabinets because they're the silent ones and oh, all that. That's nice. Where, where yeah. you can't even slam them shut if you tried. Oh, or whatever yeah you, you could just like throw them then it's like they'll just stop 
and then the, just slowly close the soft close yeah. yeah yeah nice yeah so nice i even i even my toilet is a soft close too <gasps> so you try to slam the toilet seat down and you, you can't. can't actually like with the <laughs> toilet seats we got those like after we moved in because our house didn't have them and we were just like our old house did have them so we were just like dropping the toilet seat like so yeah, loud yeah. it was terrifying and we're like oh my gosh <laughs> so especially like, if you go in the middle of the night or something yeah and you're like, oh. So we had to get the soft clothes. I don't know if they're called soft clothes toilets, but <laughs> yeah. Um, this is a great topic, though. I'm so yes. glad we're touching mm -hmm. on this. If you mm -hmm. don't have soft clothes toilet seats, you should consider you investing in them because they're really out. nice. You'll never yeah. just like drop it so loud ever again. Yeah, because yeah, sometimes, like you know, <laughs> you, you don't slam them on purpose. You slam you them by accident. You just drop it. Sure. Yeah. Um, yes. So, Pack Rack Fever says, I have to look into those. I just removed all toilet seats from my home because I was tired of the slamming. <laughs> we stay on the ability to not slam in this house. Yes. Yes. Thank mm -hmm. you, Bobby Christine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I I'll drink that with my pinky rays. Yeah. <sighs> okay. We're eventually going to talk about magic, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I mean, this is no magic promises. for normies. I mean, this is, um, we talk about what we want, right? Right? Um, I call my decks with no win cons soft close decks. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Fucking effort. <laughs> Why did you say that? Um,. I don't know. I like that though. That was great. That that was good. That was good. Okay, I'm gonna, does anyone want me to change the name of this stream to Soft Close Normies? Soft Close Normies. <laughs> yes, that's gonna be the name of the episode um, when it goes on VOD and the podcast audio. Oh yeah. For Magic sure. for Normies episode. What are we on? Twenty six. Soft Close Normies. Yep. Yep. That's <laughs> it. I did it. I changed the name of the stream. It happened. Nice. Magic okay. for soft closers only. Oh, wow. That's a good one. That's a good one. That could have different connotations, too. Yes, it could, but we are moving <laughs> on. We are moving on. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking have <effort. laughs> This episode shouldn't end. It should just slowly fade to black. Can I do that on OBS? <laughs> I'm sure you can. There's got to be like a transition way right? or something. I, I have no idea don't how you have do it, it set up, but I'll <laughs> oh figure it out god. before we end. Oh stories. my god, that's hilarious. That's great. Y'all are I so it. silly. It's great. This is why we love this show. Yeah, Holy shit. It's great. Um, So I guess we'll talk about magic now. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, we have topics to discuss tonight, don't we? Yeah, we do. We very yeah. much do. Our first topic. This has been, um, I, I, I would say sort of a topic of discussion on Twitter, but like maybe not a ton. Talking about what is casual commander and, um, just kind of like how we decide defining what casual commander is well yeah so i saw this uh post by the commander sphere podcast uh the one podcast that rachel weeks and um dan sheehan do uh just talking about how especially now that commander is way popular than ever mm -hmm. um that essentially there's two kind of games being played now you know people in terms of casual mm -hmm. games Right, where people try to win the game quickly and efficiently, or people try to play the game experimentally, or with the emphasis on possibility. And mm -hmm. neither of them are like the wrong way to play. And that a lot of these people are considering themselves under the the cat the guise of casual, right? Mm -hmm. And and this is something that you and I have experienced guesting on multiple streams mm -hmm. many times. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Because and, it seems like what you're saying, like, there, there is, I don't know, 
a mindset where people will consider themselves casual if they're not playing CEDH. Yes. Like, yes. and it's just like, is that really all casual just because it's not CEDH? Yeah. I, and, I don't think so. Yeah, and, and a lot of people have different ideas of fun too, right? Yeah. Like, like their idea of fun, you know, it's a casual deck, but their idea of fun is optimizing the deck as po as close as possible mm -hmm. without making it CDH mm -hmm. and winning that way. Mm -hmm. Whereas, you know, like my idea of casual is just playing a battle cruiser type deck where it may take, you know, two hours to play a game. Mm -hmm. You know, stuff like that. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. I mean, I... I don't like when people make super polarizing statements of like, I don't know. I made a post on Twitter and I, it was a screenshot of a conversation I was having about decks being super optimized. And I said, I don't want to play a super optimized deck. I want to play a fun deck. Mm -hmm. And there were people getting in the mentions of that post talking about, um, you know, just because something is optimized doesn't mean it's not fun. And yeah, that sort of that's, defeated the purpose of your statement, though. Yeah, you know? that's that's not what I meant, obviously. And yeah. I can only speak for myself and my definition of fun. Um. I don't know, like, I guess it came across as negative to some people, but yeah, we all have a different definition of fun. I, I mean, and it's okay if your definition of fun is CEDH, that's fine. I don't care. Whatever. Yeah. I'm not going to play and, against you, but that's just, I, I just don't play at that level. Yeah, and I think that's where, you know, a lot of the talk of rule zero comes in where you talk with your, um, you know, play group. But I feel like where a lot of this discourse is happening now is now that in-store play is starting to happen again. Um, we're just, you know, there's going to be people who, you know, don't talk on social media, don't don't follow any of that. And they're not, they're not going to want to do rule zero. They're going to want to just come to the LGS and just play. You know, mm -hmm. why talk about, oh, what people like and don't like. And, and that's how EDH has been played for a long time. But that was also before EDH got really popular, too. Like, in yeah. terms of how it is now. Yeah, um, and if those are the same people you're playing with every single week, you should have a discussion about yes. what you're playing together. If it's, like, one rando, okay, whatever. I don't. I can choose to not ever play with that person again because I hated the deck they played. It was super imbalanced, whatever. But, yeah, if you're sitting down with the same people every week, like, that's your play group. You do need to have that discussion. Mm -hmm. Like... Oh, yeah, I agree. Or somebody's probably not having fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, um, it's... Oh, I think you hit the nail on the head where just everybody's idea of fun is different and it's optimizing a deck can be fun. You know, it, it all sure. depends on what you want to do. But yeah. you and I have said this before, like I'm at a point where optimizing every single deck is just boring because it's just going to be the same cards over and over again yeah. mm -hmm. that you're going to play. For sure. So, um, That does lead me to... I to something I've been thinking about. I, I do want to build a higher power deck. So when I do go on somebody's stream, like you just said, you know, we, you and I both get asked to play EDH on people's streams a lot. And mm -hmm. sometimes it's just like, it, it is, it is imbalanced no matter what, even if you have that conversation before, because we, like, we have a totally different definition of, even oh, what's yeah. a mid-level deck with some right? people. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because mm -hmm. I've been on some streams where they say, oh, yeah, this is going to be more casual, you know, power level five mm -hmm. or six. And I'm thinking, okay, I'll play, you know, one of my dirtily decks and then Whatever. just get completely smashed. And you're like, yeah. uh, the, you guys are playing on the level of, like, my crew fix or my, you know, yeah. Omnath deck or right, something. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah. But, um, 
I I have been thinking about building at least one pretty high powered deck, like not CEDH, but something that's yeah. like like really a lot higher than what I have everything else at now. Which kind of where my where the bulk of my decks are now is what I like playing. So I want to keep mm-hmm. them at that level. But I wanted to build a higher level one. So when I do go on streams where people only play higher level decks, I have something. I can bring to the table there as well. But you could do that with Zaxara. But with it's blue. But it's blue. Yeah. They're gonna want you to play counter spells in the deck if it's blue. If it has you blue. You don't have to play counter spells. But if you're building a really highly optimized deck. Yeah, you're gonna want something like force will or force negation or something and you're right. Yeah. So I can't mess with blue and higher power, or I'll definitely have to play counter spells, and I don't want to. And then also spend a lot of money too. Why on counter spells, yeah. or just in general? In general. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I've been thinking about it though. I don't know what I would build at a higher level. I don't know. It's yeah, no Bobby br- Bobby brings up a good point too. Like sometimes, even if you do correctly pinpoint your deck's power level, you can still draw higher or lower power. Like, yeah, there's been sure. times where you know we've played and the deck just goes off, right? Yeah. And it just you can't stop it. Yeah. Um, and then you know other times it's you can play your super higher power deck and just it does nothing. Yeah. Which, you know, you know that, that always that's happens. That's, ju- that's just magic. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, yeah. But, um, we're just all for people having fun and yeah. play whatever you personally think is fun. And we're fine with yeah. that. And it's, it's trying to figure out, you know, your idea of fun as well, too, which I think is really important. And, and I think you and I have talked about this. Like, I feel like a lot of people's fan of like commander playing goes through like you know highs and lows right it's I, i've noticed a lot of new people that get into it want to build the optimized decks and mm-hmm. then the more they play it's like okay optimizing gets boring and now you want to play like the jank mm-hmm. or something yeah and but it all depends on the person like like i'm i'm kind of i'm kind of done with competitive play altogether so it's i like i like wow. fun over winning um you know who else is done with competitive play you are magic esports oh <laughs> it's true it's true they it's dropped true. them like woody in toy story one they i don't want to play did. with you anymore they straight up did that i that just came out of my mind like i haven't even been thinking about that and that Dang. was not even like a topic of discussion but maybe no, it should have been not. Like the pro, it should have been the pro players. I don't really have much to Who? say about it. Who? Yeah, they're Who? nobody now, right? So, <laughs> oh damn! If you don't, okay, I'm I'm not trying to be mean. I'm really not. No, we're not. We're um, not. but I'm not trying to be nice either. So, ouch. So what Ooh. happened? What happened? Magic the Magic Esports is like we're not doing the pro league anymore. We don't we don't want to play with you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, they're, they're 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 getting rid of the the MPL and the Rivals League, which yeah. was like, and they're they're not they say as of right now they're not going to bring back any form of pro play in terms of so before MPL and Rivals they used to have like these these level of pro players like gold, silver, platinum, oh. bronze level, what something like that. And okay. depending on what level, cause you'd have to do so well in X amount of tournaments to get to those levels. Right. And, and you'd get paid by wizards X amount of money, depending on what level you got to Okay, and, and, and get appearance fees and all that. Stuff. And that's how a lot of pro players made their money. Mm-hmm. This is before magic arena and all that. Mm-hmm. Um, and so what they they did away with that and they came up with the MPL on rivals and now since that kind of went nowhere for two or three years now now they just said they're done completely doing any of that but they're not getting rid of organized play altogether they're just okay. getting rid of the the pro player system okay which i feel like gotcha. that's fine you know don't have pro players right just just still do the tournaments yeah. for people who like that stuff but yeah. you know 
I don't know. And like if like as far as esports go, I mean, wouldn't Magic Arena be better as an esport? It will than paper. But, it, but it's failed so bad as an esport though. I mean, Magic Arena I mean, has? Yeah, because think about it. It's even when they have their cuz they just had the Strixhaven Arena Championships this past weekend, mm-hmm. which I didn't even know about it until it was over, right? Uh, that just goes to show how well they're advertising it. Um, I knew about it. I watched some I of it. Oh, you did? Yeah, Dang. Friday night. Yeah, I did. Oh, snap. See, I had no idea it was even going. Um, but they, like, Magic, even Magic Arena trying to view it is still not a good experience unless you're invested yeah. in Magic. Yeah, it's, it's weird, the screens. They have to have, like, the yeah. one player on the on most of the screen and then the other players like hand at the top it is weird yeah because they don't even have and i know people have talked about a uh, spectator mode for arena forever but mm-hmm. even the casters <clears throat> and tournament organizers themselves they have no way to spectate mm-hmm. the the actual game you know even the officials un, un, but they they have to share someone's screen in order to see it all and that's just yeah that, that that's low tier that's low tier budget right that's there. trash that is just straight up yeah. trash we're just gonna it, say it it, it, it is it's, it's as as an esport that you should have a spectator yeah player. what what would that look like like would you get to see both players cards because that, that would be the idea yeah is you should be able to see both players cards okay and and, and so like as, as a caster you'd be able to see who has what in their hands and talk about it yeah right that, that way to make it more exciting for the for the viewer right. we're like what can you know, they do what are yeah, they gonna right. do blah 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 uh, yeah. oh no you know pixie's about to play uh uh i don't know uh a counter spell cauldron fami- a, a cauldron familiar but but zuby's got a counter spell in hand right you know right, right, so, right. stuff like that yeah know. yeah well i mean yeah i'm I don't want to be like insensitive about it, but it just, it's not a big deal to me personally because yeah. I was never involved in it and never going to be. So, I mean. I mean, it, it sucks for the people who sort yeah, of yeah. lost their jobs and yeah. all that. And I say that quotations because I, I, guess, I guess they were like jobs because um, they signed contracts and all that stuff. But mm-hmm. I mean, it they should have. It, it, it was really not surprising that it even lasted as long as it did because it yeah. was just not that great to begin with i mean hopefully whatever they come up with will just be a lot better and whatever i I, i'd be i feel like the smarter thing to do would be to not bring back any sort of pro player incentive and and just do still have the tournaments and all that stuff but no pro player system you know Mm -hmm. do it like how a lot of other quote-unquote esports do it where you have advertisers or teams that pay them and stuff yeah. like that. And yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, I think that I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Professional players aren't normies. Yeah, it is hard to relate. Yeah, we it just is. can't totally. relate to them because we're just little old normies. You know, we are what we oh, are. Speaking of non normies, um, with in store play coming back, oops, are you? Gonna go back to your LGS at all or anything? No, and play in store? I didn't have an LGS that I ever went to before. Oh, that's right. That's right. Like because... I like I've I've bought boxes and stuff from from the LGS, but I've never played at an LGS. That's right. That's right. Okay, but no. you have no desire still or anything? No, I don't want to play with randos. Absolutely mm-hmm. not. I, that I, does I, not I sound like fun totally to me. Totally understand. Yeah. My um my buddy was talking about wanting to play modern again, and you know that per- perfect segue into talking about Modern Horizons and all that. Yeah. Um, and he has like a whole bunch of modern decks, and I and I I was thinking about maybe going with him one night to you know borrow one of his decks, and okay. I went to the my LGS oh. the other day or a couple days or last week or something. Mm-hmm. J- just to um look because they have a big selection of D and D stuff too, mm-hmm. and um, I was, and I just overheard people talking about you know modern and all that stuff, and 
it just brought back all these memories and they were like people they're the tryhards and all that stuff and i'm like oh shit that's right all the tryhards are gonna be there now and <laughs> all the people who like care about winning are gonna yeah. be there just kind of made me bring back all these memories of i don't care yeah i mean i don't want to do it again I, that that's great for some people whatever you like doing that you like going and playing with different people that's fine I'm an introvert. I do not like that. Like that is stressful for me. That is anxiety inducing. Like I don't I don't want to do that at all. I don't want to play at the LGS with people I don't know. Yeah, no, it's I, I've noticed that as I've gotten older where I just don't want to deal with um regular people <laughs> like that. Or or not regular people. I mean you more mean like just like ran- in life entirely. Yeah, in, in, in life. Man, I I've been working from home almost two years now and I'm all like yeah, I don't want to go outside. Oh, People, <laughs> it is. Yeah, I it's get like, it. man, it's. I'll tell you this straight up. Like, so we've got three WalMarts where I live, right? Two Walmart super centers and one neighborhood Walmart. Yeah, you know, just the grocery store one. Uh huh. Uh huh. I ref. I absolutely refuse to go to any of the super center WalMarts because it's full of people. It's full of trashy disgusting smelly ugly people um and there's too many of them yeah they're so crowded they they are even though my neighborhood walmart can be crowded it's nowhere near as bad yeah like i don't mind going to that one yeah the the gro- the neighborhood market grocery store one is always like way nicer yeah it's way more chill yeah um it's just, I try not to go there after 5 o'clock in the afternoon because it's just a bunch of people there and all that. Yeah. But like regular there, like, Walmart has no chill. Oh, None. God, no. No it, chill. I can't do it. I, no. I get panic attacks and all that stuff. I'm like, nope, I can't. Oh, dang. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. bad. Um, why are we talking about Walmart? I don't know. How do <laughs> we... Whatever, whatever. <laughs> this is bad for normies, all right? We talk about whatever the fuck we want. Yeah, it's true. We do. All right, so getting back on topic. So casual commander is whatever you make of it. So dream big, dream small, do how you feel. Do it. One and all. Boom. Drop the mic. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's true. Um, but as far as people go, though, I just want to circle back to the people Everybody here in this group of people is great, and we it's love a, them. They're amazing. All yes. of our chat people, we love them. Yes. So friggin' much. Um, just, be, j- just wait till we have NormieCon. We're like, oh, God, there's actual people here. Yeah, that then we're going to be <laughs> like, no, oh, this is scary. Crying oh, in the God. corner. No, it'll be fine for one yeah, day or two days. For about 10 minutes each day (laughs) after 10 minutes we're gonna be like yeah we gotta go bye (laughs) gotta go back to my hotel room for the rest of the time wow oh god we're the worst like celebrities ever oh my god i i I never told you um or maybe i did but we were celebrities what when i did the whole uh grand prix dallas thing when i worked with channel fireball for the first time oh yeah um back in 2018 they, they did that's when they started doing like the spell slinger like you know you could play with content creators and all that stuff and oh, it was cool. me and um you, you know zopi um yes she, she, she's the cosplayer. spanish cosplayer yes. yeah so it, it was her and i there and the entire like four hours that we were supposed to play with a bunch of people, we had no breaks whatsoever. Oh my entire gosh! Four hours. And it was, and That's you know, intense. I met, yeah, I met fans and all that stuff. And I gotta say, it was after that four hours, like I was fucking exhausted. Oh yeah, I bet. <laughs> and, and then I had to do another event to, I had to do some draft event. Me and Zopi did. Oh. And um, uh, and again, like. And it, it was a Friday too, so that next Saturday, um, they 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 made us sign up for the main event, which was a sealed tournament and all that stuff. So so we played that. I dropped out after like the second round or so, and mm-hmm. the rest of that day I didn't even stay in the the Grand Prix. I'm like, I gotta go outside because it's like it's getting intense here. <laughs> yeah, 
That reminds me of um, when I've gone to Dragon Con in the past. Like, obviously, no one wanted to see me. But, you know, there's like a whole hall where there's a bunch of celebrities. But there's so many people, though. There are so many people. And, um, like, these celebrities, like, sit at a table. And there's just, like, a line of constant people literally all day long. Just, like, waiting to talk to them or have them sign a picture or whatever. And I'm just like, how do you people do it? Like this, this, like they're there all day. It has to be exhausting. Oh, it's gotta be. I mean, like, yeah, you know, the money is probably nice and all that stuff. But I mean, even for money, it's just. Right. God. Even still. So, um, so, so even not just, you know, meeting people and all that stuff, just being at a convention with so many people mm-hmm. can be exhausting. Like I'm usually good. The first day I go to a convention, I'm good, right? Because I've mentally prepared myself. Like, I know there's going to be a million people. Mm -hmm. The next day, uh, it's a little shaky. By the third day, I'm like, I'm fucking done. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Like, I want nothing to do with people. Yeah, I have a hard time. Like, I'll, I'll get to a point where I'm like, I have to go outside and, like, look up at the sky, because I just oh, I need exactly to like, what you mean. I have to, I have to like, get a moment's peace from like all these people. Oh, I know exactly what you mean. It, it's yeah. Every time I've been to MegaCon and any kind of Grand Prix yeah. for like Magic Fest or whatever, it's just by the second or third day, I'm like, nope. Yeah. Nope. I don't. have I have and not then, done then a Magic just... Fest yet, so I have not experienced that, unfortunately. But someday. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, they're they're pretty much... I, I wouldn't say they're the same as a con. It's just more mm-hmm. of just a really ginormous LGS. Yeah. Yeah. Well, is does that sound like fun? They can be, yeah. It, it, <laughs> like, if you have a group of people. Yeah, to, I'm kidding. Play. I'm kidding. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know, though. Like, when, when, the, when the Magic Fest come back... We have got to check that schedule right away. Oh, yes. And plan a normie con. Yes. Whenever that happens. Hell yeah. Yeah. I, I, I need to try to go to at least one convention this year. Just to... I've been thinking about Dragon Con. I don't know if, if I want to drive all the way to Atlanta. Mm-hmm. There's Mega Con coming up, which is in Orlando, which is like an hour drive for me. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I don't know. Interesting. So, something. Yeah, be fun. Um, so what else are we talking about tonight? Oh, yeah, we've, we've gone we've, completely off topic. We've got um, actual topics here we're supposed yeah, to be we discussing. Do. Oh, Spell Table now offering matchmaking. Oh, yeah. Did you see that? They put it, they made a tweet today. Spell Table, um, now offers matchmaking. I think that is a fantastic idea for Okay. It. Now, if... Okay. For I I feel like if you don't want to deal like for people who don't want to deal with randoms and probably pub stompers and all that stuff, yeah, that's bad. But for people, I I think about when I would play a lot of Magic Online uh, when I had a EDH collection on Magic Online and just wanted to play EDH all the time. Mm -hmm. I think of for people like that who just want to jam Commander all the time Mm -hmm. and with a webcam. I think it's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine for a specific group of people, but I will never do it, personally. I might try it out, and then after probably getting pub stomped a few times, I'll be like, fuck this. Just like Magic Arena, be like, fuck Magic Arena. Yeah, right, that's the thing. Noise. Like, everything we were just talking about. I know, I know. About the power levels. I have a different definition of this yeah. power level than you do. I have a different definition of fun than you do. And I just feel like I'm a pessimist, so I just feel like every time... If I tried that, it, I would end up being unhappy. Oh, yeah. I, I, I've i got a feeling it's going to be very similar to um, trying to play, like, either Magic Online EDH or, like, going to a local LGS and just facing all the pub stompers. Yeah. yeah it, it's going to be bad. But I'm willing to try it at least once and then probably never try it again because I know I'll probably have a bad time. But 
Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I really hope that what I think will happen in every game doesn't happen. I hope people use it and enjoy it and have a great time. Yeah, I think it's a great idea, though. I, I think the idea of it concept. is great for people who yeah. want it. Yeah. You know, and who may not have three other friends who can, you know, play webcam EDH. Sure, you know? absolutely. You know, it, I mean, you want to just find a game? It's a great way to do it. Um, yeah. And the fact that, like, Spell Table is offering it just through their website, like, that's great. You don't have to go through a Discord or something because I think there's, and, like, and an pay, EDH pay Discord. a dollar or something to yeah. get your deck check and join know. the queue. Yeah, I don't know what was up with that. <laughs> um, but, and did you see, like, you can play all kinds of different formats, too. Yeah, I've noticed that um, they in their beta they've added a lot more formats, um, like like legacy. They even added like sealed on there, um, like standard, modern, and all oh, that. I think that's really freaking okay. great. I'm gonna share my screen. It looks like there's one game going on right now in Spell Table. Three out of four players. If anybody wants to join it. Let's join it right now and be like, you're live on Magic for Normies. <laughs> hey, guess what? You're famous now. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do it in that voice, too. <laughs> hey, welcome to the show. Actually, like, there's no way I'd be able to get a video camera to work. It would just be like, yeah, I don't know what this game is called. Is it censored? What's happening here? Yeah. How many channel points to have you join? <laughs> <laughs> that is a good idea, but also a scary one. It is. Um, it is. Yeah. But, like, yeah, all these formats are in here now. Commander, Standard, Sealed, Modern, Vintage, Legacy, Brawl 2-Player, Brawl Multiplayer. Brawl. Two-Headed two Giant, Pauper, and Pioneer. See, I'd be interested in trying Two-Headed Giant because how the hell are you going to do Two-Headed Giant on spell table because yeah how th that that one i've always wondered because it's you know like say you and i are doing two-headed giant against two uh -huh. other people you and i need to be able to see each other's hands yeah. but we don't want the other people to see it mm -hmm. so how's that ha how's that it work? doesn't really work you yeah. just it's just words in here it doesn't really work sorry yeah. so what so like what do you do you make a new game and yeah you, you, you essentially put it in choose the, the lobby format. Yeah, you you choose the format, create the game. Oh, make game public. Okay, yeah. I can read. Right there. Public there games go. will allow others to find and join your game. Are are you actually making a game right now and you're going to break the stream? Well, I it, it's it's not a public one. It's just oh, okay. see I said test just to look at what it looked like. I'm going to delete it. Yeah. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Okay. Okay. Damn. It would be sweet if you had, if you could set up push to talk for the table and a push to talk for your two headed giant partner. That would be nice. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Maybe I, it'll get there or something. Yeah, I mean, they're obviously making changes to it. So who knows? We'll see. If anybody wants to play with Eric. Um, there's three out of four players right now on the spell table, so. Oh, God, it, a vote to kick feature? Oh, my God, no, because that, that'll that be so abused. But what if you needed it, though? That's true, that's true. Yeah, because you know you're going to come across some Eric, Eric's out there. <laughs> we don't <laughs> even know Eric. I uh, know, we don't know Eric, but poor Eric. Oh, Kyoji says don't play with Eric. He's a pub stomper. Okay, so Eric plays high-level decks. Um, if you want to play a high-level deck, go join Eric's game right now. They just need one more player. I didn't do it. I dare you. Yeah, I'm not going to, but y'all can. I think it's a great yeah, so concept. Think, I'm glad they're yeah. doing it. Yeah, I'm glad too. Kyoji I, does I think... actually know Eric, by the way. Oh, does he really know Eric? Kyoji, are what, you in that game? What, what what's Eric's birthday? What what <laughs> What's Eric's is... favorite color? 
Yeah, what, what's Eric, who is Eric's third grade teacher? <laughs> what's Eric's mother's maiden name? Right. Just what, kidding. What's Eric's don't social tell security us. number? Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> we don't want to know. Don't tell us that much information. We're just joking. Sorry. DM it to us. Yeah. <laughs> Send a whisper. Okay. Let's talk about our next topic. All right. Stranger Things secret lair. Oh, snap. Um, we're going to the... Oh, we're fuck, going to the upside it? down. The upside down, the upside down. I almost said the underworld. I'm like, no, that's not right. We're going to the <laughs> underworld. We're going to fight vampires and werewolves in the underworld. <laughs> At the same time. <laughs> and then they're going to breed and make a vampiric werewolf. Is that what happens in no, the movie? No, I made that up. I oh, made okay, that up. But- about to say like i've only seen the first one and i don't remember it at all <laughs> i've only seen the first one and i watched it not that long ago and it was pretty bad pretty bad i do not recommend it pretty bad yeah um so let's talk about the secret lair stranger things i they even they, they just announced it right have they, they haven't shown any cards yet they have not shown any cards yet but there is some art that they have shown and i assume that these are cards this um this letter wall. Oh yeah, from the first season. Yeah, that, I, um... I looks like it's all from the first season. Like th- this other piece of art is eleven from the first season. Yeah, when she was fighting the demogorgon. Uh huh. Or something. Yeah. I'm pretty excited about it. I like Stranger Things. Yeah, me too. I'm very excited about it. I think it'll be really fun. Um, and they've changed. They've changed it. So it's not going to be like the Walking Dead secret lair. Uh, Ruby's here. I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay. okay. It's okay. Um. So yeah, they they just made the announcement what the other day that the mechanically unique cards coming out in secret lair for universes beyond are going to eventually be reprinted as regular magic cards or something. Yes. Um. I took screenshots. And people were mad about that. that. Were they mad about that? I don't know. They're, they're mad about something all the time. Okay, hold on. Okay, here I took screenshots of this stuff. This is okay. from Gavin's video about the Stranger Things secret. That's letter. where you got the pictures. Okay. Yes. Okay. So they say we will be printing in world magic versions in addition to the Stranger Things version. So it's just like. Um, the Godzilla ones. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I would think people would actually be happy about that because they were not happy about the Walking Dead ones, which are not going to be printed in a magic set. Shut right? up, Efren. <laughs> Efren's mad about it. I want them to be only secret layer. Okay, well, they're not. Sorry, you're in the minority there. Um, <sighs> what else? These are say? intended to be cool collectibles and for Commander. These cards will be available six months after the release of the secret layer. Okay, so, you know, you may miss out on the secret layer, but eventually be able to pick them up. Mm-hmm. And some copies of the in-world magic version will be on the list at a higher frequency. Oh, oh, the, the cards that show up in the um, set boosters. Yes. And all that. So I think that's what people were mad about, that the cards would show up only in the list. Gotcha. Or something. Okay, but and that's what Baltian is saying. It's because the list reprints are insufficient amounts of stock. Yeah, because, I mean, you don't even get a list card in every booster. No, you it's don't. It's so random. Yeah, you don't, but... Mm, okay. I mean, there's, you're still going to have a chance to be able to get it in an in-world magic version. I mean... Yeah. These are intended for cool collectibles and for a commander. Yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, I feel like they heard what every... Not I'm not everybody. But a, a large majority of the community, the complaints they had about the Walking Dead one, and they've tried to... They've tried to change what people didn't like about that one, and I think it's yeah. I think it's fine. They're it's a step in the right direction, you know. They're listening. Oh, yeah. They tried to change things. It might not be perfect, but I don't know. Oh, 
yeah, that's right. They have a longer sale time now too for the secret layers for the for these universes beyond. I, I guess they're like over a month now instead of a week how they oh, used to be or something like that. That's good. I would think Which, people like that. Yeah. I think I would think that would be a plus right there. Um Heck yeah. I love Stranger Things. I have loved it since it came out. So I'm oh, really yeah. excited about a Stranger Things secret lair. And it makes sense because they play D&D in Stranger Things and that's Wizards of the Coast. And mm -hmm. it just, it kind of all ties in together. Like, unlike The Walking Dead, which really didn't have anything to do with anything. Sorry, but it doesn't. I feel like this one definitely ties in a little bit more, at least. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's some that, connection. They made a... I have it somewhere. They have a Stranger Things D&D &D, uh, starter kit. Mm-hmm. And um, if you were, like, a big fan of Stranger Things, like, they, they came with a little campaign that sort of... It, it's very similar to season one's story mm -hmm. and all that. It, it's... it's the, the campaign itself has been... I think it's more geared for kids. Because oh, it's okay. an extremely simple story, like mm -hmm. simple campaign. And I think for kids at that age who, you know, are 11 to maybe 15 and all that, it's perfect. Nice. Because it, it's great. For older people, unless you're like a big fan of Stranger Things, it's not very good. Yeah. Or maybe you have never played any D&D &D or role-playing game ever. It might, you know, might be fine. Way to get your foot yeah. in the door, that sort of thing. Yeah, I, I think with stranger thing like stranger things being the tie it'd be fine yeah to get into it if you're not a fan of stranger things and you want to get into dnd &D, then the the regular starter kit is fine because you may enjoy that more yeah gotcha well i am a big fan of stranger things so i yes. think this secret layer is very cool and i'm really excited to see what cards they come up with like do you, do you think you'll get it uh, yeah, probably. I mean, unless they're all blue cards. Only if they're blue cards will I get it. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> no, you know, it, it, it... What if 11 is a blue card, though? That'd be amazing. It would kind of make sense, though, honestly. I guess. As far as, her... like, mechanics Cause she, go. Because she does, like, psychic powers or whatever. Like, that's, like, telepathic connect yeah. powers right yeah it feels it, like it, to fairy stuff yeah it does feel blue yeah it does so maybe maybe dang it oh, i'll, I'll be interested in see and is it season four of stranger things coming out this year um did i see a preview or something yeah i think so i don't know if it's this year but oh they're definitely like making the next season yeah and i know I think COVID stopped them from releasing it earlier, but oh. man, I feel like we've been waiting forever for it. Yeah, it does seem like it. Yeah, because they announced it late 2019 of season four. Oh, so they probably really, I don't know. Man, it, it's going to be weird because by the time season four comes out, like all the kids are going to be like 25. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? It's going to be like when they try to make an adult like look like a teenager or something. And we're going to be like, we know you're older. Like, we know. It's like so Dawson's obvious. Creek. Yeah, I don't I don't watch <laughs> Dawson's Creek. But yeah, sure. Just like that. Just like yeah. that. Yes. Um. Yeah, I will probably, I will probably get it. I mean, I guess it really just depends if I feel like. I really want to build a, a commander deck around any of it or not, but probably. We'll see. We'll just have to wait and see the cards. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay, so like what cards do you think they'll make? I mean, they're obviously going to make an 11. An 11, a Demogorgon card. Yeah. Well, we know the Wall of Lights is... Oh, um, they'll what? probably make a... Um, they'll have to make... Oh, fuck. What's his name? Um, 11's, like, dad. Um, the police the, the, the poli officer? The, the sheriff. Um yeah i'm forgetting his name completely it's been so long i i haven't watched it since season three came out um no hopper 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 that's right they what gotta about make a will hopper. do you think they'll make a will card i can see that yeah i'm Stuff sure they'll make upside cards. down what if it's like a flip card 
Ooh, a, a double face card? Yeah. Ooh, that'd be awesome. Because he's like in the, in the oh. upside down and then he comes back. Oh, what if the Demogorgon is a flip card too? Like it has the, the season one Demogorgon, then the season two, like the giant one from season two or season that three. That creepy. That's yeah. too creepy. That'd be awesome. Um, oh, what else? Um. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like the the lights with with the letters. I mean, mm -hmm. that what the, like is that an enchantment maybe or something? Could be. Yeah. It's not like a character, so I don't think it's a creature card. Like, what are some other popular things? I'm I'm gonna have to watch the show again. I know. And... I need a refresher. Yeah, because it, it's been too long since I've watched it. Um, mm -hmm. I think, like we said uh, right before the show went on, like I because I I rewatched season one and two right before season three came out, mm -hmm. and I just do not remember the show though. Yeah, <laughs> a bicycle th vehicle card. Sure, a bicycle vehicle card. Yeah, they bikes? ride they ride bikes a lot. Yeah, I mean that's. I just thought there was something special with a bike in the show that I don't remember. No. Nothing a special. A ball land card. <laughs> oh, oh, like the, the underground Russian facility. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I hope y'all have watched this. We're not really giving you any spoilers. Yeah. Or are we? Ooh. You'll have to watch and find out. Yes. I don't know. God, my hair looks terrible, Pixie. I need a haircut. Oh my god. Well, go get one. Um, that requires like, people like touching my head. Well... Then you can't complain about it. I know. I know. Yeah. Yeah. So what else are we talking about? Oh, you bring up this next topic. I don't want to talk about this. Okay. So I wanted to talk about, um, I'm sure you've probably seen that Post Malone was on game night. Um, and there has been like a lot of hype around, around him being there and playing Magic recently. Ooh. Who, Post who Malone. Post Malone. Oh, is, Post is Malone, he? The, who, who's this person? Uh, Post Malone. He's a singer. He is. Um, I'm gonna pull oh. up the Wikipedia page real quick. Oh, he actually does music. You call that music? What he does? Uh, um, Austin Richard Post, known professionally as Post Malone, is an American singer, songwriter, record producer, and actor. Are we sure it's music that he makes? Yes, it's definitely music. Um, I mean, I guess they call anyone artist nowadays. But um, <laughs> why do you hate Post Malone? Oh, it, it's more to um get Efren all irritated. But I also, I'm really, honestly, not a fan of his music because I've heard some of it. I'm like, eh, it's not for me. Wow, I I don't like listen to all of Post Malone's music, but I feel like. Mm, the songs I've heard that are on the radio and stuff, I've liked most of them well enough. They're about I, average. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not like, oh, this is the best ever and I want to listen to the rest of his music, obviously, but they're good. He's got some catchy stuff. It doesn't make me angry. I don't turn to, to skip the song or anything like that. Mm. I'll listen to it. Mm. <laughs> you won't? You skip? You change the channel? Oh, I'll, I'll change the radio channel if it's like comes on or something. Or like, no. I'm just not a fan of the auto tune stuff. And, um. Wow. Yeah. All right. It's not a fan of it. Okay. Well, besides all of that, I mean, you know who Post Malone is. He's like, oh, yeah. yeah. A pretty big name. He's a pretty big celebrity. Um, and like, what, what kind of thoughts, do you have any thoughts about a celebrity of that level getting involved in the magic community? And I know there's like other celebrities, there's like a football player, right? Yeah, a baseball player. A baseball um, player. Yeah. What do you, do you think it matters or it doesn't matter or is it good? Is it bad? Um, no, I think it's great because, um, I mean, even before the whole Game Nights episode, they, there's been what pictures of him floating around like buying recently yeah yeah buying super expensive magic cards and all that stuff right. and um so it, it's 
I mean, it's great because it gets more eyes on the game mm -hmm. and all that, and it makes it more mainstream, mm -hmm. which is great. And, um, I mean, I feel like the effect he'll have on it is great, you know, for it. It'll be good for the game. And um, I'm also going to try to get Post Malone on the podcast and just okay. be like... And just yeah. tell him straight up, like, bro, I don't like your music, but let's talk about magic. And then not talk about magic at all. Um <laughs> You're just going to tell him to his face you don't like his music. Yeah, and be like, I'm not a fan of your stuff. Which... Oh, wow. He probably no, the, the... has lots of haters. It's, it's Oh, fine. yeah. It, it's No, I, I will say, I think he's a cool dude. Like, every time I've seen him in interviews or anything, like, he seems like a down-to-earth person and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, it's, I, I think it's good for Magic as a whole. Yeah. That I do, too. There. I do, too. I think any, like, celebrity type person um Efren Efren <laughs> you know I would ask that too <laughs> <laughs> okay okay Efren Efren just posted in the chat oh that that, that wins chat tonight <laughs> oh my god all right. Should, should, should I should I talk, say it as if I was actually interviewing yes. Post Malone? Yes. Okay, I'll be everybody. Uh, we're here with the awesome Post Malone. So posty. I, yeah. I gotta know. It, it, What's up? It, tell me this. What kind of toilet seats do you have in your house? Are they the soft clothes kind? <laughs> of course. Duh. Those are the best, right? Is it what all the rich people have? I mean, shit. I mean, am I get entering rich people territory now? Apparently. Apparently. Oh my gosh. So you're gonna try and get Post Malone on the podcast and you're gonna ask him what kind of toilet seats he has in his house. And this if his great. toilet seats have tattoos. Why would his toilet seats have tattoos? Have you, he's running out of space on his face. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't mean he's gonna tattoo a toilet seat. Well, if we're gonna talk about toilet seats, I'm gonna ask. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Don't Don't even get me started. Um, anyways, back to the actual topic here. We, we don't care what kind of toilet seats Post Malone has. Um, but yeah, I think it's great for the magic community. Uh, I think having celebrities like this be a part of the game helps to normalize what, yeah, ha what yeah. has, re what has previously been like nerd culture or like basement dweller game, you know, like yeah. that whole sort of like really negative you're not yeah. cool if you like this sort of thing. Having these type of people like this really mainstream, cool singer, a football player, a, a baseball player, like, I think it helps normalize it, and that's all good. Those are all Yeah, good because things. they're starting to to follow the trend of, like, what D&D &D has done for the past couple years, because D&D &D has a multitude of celebrities, oh. like, playing the game. Nice. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, that's true. Because they've had, like, a lot of big names. Like, they've had, um... Oh, my God. They, You know, they had Vin Diesel. Of course, yes. like, he's a big action star. Um, yes. They've had, you know... Um, fuck. I, I'm, I'm seeing their faces, but I can't think of their names at all <laughs> right now. Um, but there's just been a lot. Yeah. Right? And, um... There was that... There's that guy that was, um... On, um... That vampire show... Oh, jo Joe Joe Manganiello. Yes. However you say his name, but but he he's got his own D and D basement, right? Now, now oh. that's like that's like my man crush, right? So oh, so the, okay. this guy is like you know married to Sophia Vargaris, who's like ridiculously good looking. Yes. And and this fucking nerd who's like you know <laughs> big muscle guy, he's got his own D and D basement. Yeah. That's that amazing. Yeah, yeah, I I I really like that because He's my man crush. Yes. Like I said, it helps normalize the whole nerd nerd culture yeah. thing. And I and that's good. You know, you shouldn't be thought of a specific oh. way because of your hobby. Ruby, are you kidding me? Ruby's like, "Nope, pay attention to me." She's like she's like walking over this this cord. Oh, and... don't let her chew it off. <laughs> yep, she's doing it. Yep. Stop, Ruby. Stop being bad. She's like, no, Mama, pay attention to me. Yeah. You're fine. Okay. She's she's fine. 
Yeah. Um, yeah, but I I think it's great. I think it's I think it's good. Yeah. I'm and I like Posty, so I'm glad to hear he's a he seems like a real decent person. That's nice. What 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 celebrity would you like to see play like magic on like some sort of stream or something like that or video? Oh wow, that's a wild question. Cause I'm not um what celebrities do I even like? I guess, I, I guess, okay. One of my favorite actors is Jensen Ackles from... Supernatural. From Supernatural, yes. Yes, yes. Dean. Yes, Dean. Oh my God. Have Jensen Ackles and uh, Jared Pekka, Pala, uh, however you say his last name. Yeah. I can't say it. So Dean and Sam playing magic. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't. I don't see Dean playing magic though. Like he's definitely one of those cool guys that would make fun of people who do play magic, right? That Sam. Sam would definitely play magic. He and would. Be super he would. into it. Oh my god. So yes. Okay. The normies versus the supernatural brothers. Let's that, go. Oh my god. Yes, I love it. And then, and then you, you can just imagine Castiel trying to play too and just not understanding any of this. <laughs> I love it. This is so good. Supernatural oh for my life. God. Right? Oh my yes. now I want to watch the whole show again. We have we started rewatching it. Oh nice. What yeah. season are you on? We're still on season one. Season one is still great. Like there yeah. there's even some scary parts of season one. Yeah. And all that. Yeah. Like it's good. <laughs> Some and, spooky stuff. And the show went on for so freaking long. It was like 20 years ago. And they're like they're like significantly younger. It's amazing. I'm oh just my, like, wow. When, especially when you hear uh, Jensen's voice from yeah. the beginning. Mm-hmm. It's so high pitched. Yeah. Ev- yeah. Even their like, voices on, are Sam. different. We, we gotta go. Ha ha. We gotta go. <laughs> Fight the ghost, Sam. I mean, it's not like that. I know. I know. Wow. You hate Jensen Apples. No, I do not. Holy shit, I love him. <laughs> I know, right? He's the best. And he's going to be on The Boys Season 3. Yeah, I know. I'm actually super disappointed about that because... Why? I, I do not like that show, like, at oh. all. I okay. hate it, honestly. I hate it. Damn. Yeah. And I don't want to keep watching it, but Jensen Ackles is going to be on it, so I'm going to have to watch it, right? Right. Yeah. So I'm really Henry upset. Cavill would be a good one. Henry Cavill would be a good one. See him play Magic because he plays um That's plays right. World of Warcraft and all that. Yeah, and he and he has yeah he does sort of have those sort of nerd tendencies. So oh. I could see him. I could see him playing Magic for sure. Um, oh my God. yeah. I Are don't we... know. What's the actor? What's the what's the actor you would want to see playing? So just hit the top of my brain and he's like one of the most wholesome people that you like see ever and that'd be the rock oh, like that's i'd a love good to one. see the fucking rock yeah that play, would be, play it. that would be amazing oh my god right yeah like like have a pod of the rock the two normies and jensen ackles oh heck yes i'd be like i'd just be like mm-hmm, just talk yeah <laughs> i know right that would be amazing. So, so we've said a bunch of dudes. What about some actresses or something? Um, um God, who'd be some good actresses? Um, why? I can't even think of anybody off the top of my head. What have been some movies or shows that I've been watching? Um, I don't know. That's a tough one. Yeah. Because it's like... I, the only ones I can think of are the ones who already play like D and D. Um, shit. What's her name from True Blood and um, from oh, Daredevil? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. The the redheaded. Mm-hmm. Uh, lady. I can't think of her name, but she already plays D and D. Yeah. Um. What but... What about like um. The woman that plays Wonder Woman. Oh, Gal Gadot. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like she. I, I don't know. It. It'd be cool. I just feel like she'd be um too nerdy or like be too nerdy for me. Oh man. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I have a good one. What about um the the woman that plays Captain Marvel? Oh, Brie Larson. Yeah. 
Oh my god, that I think she I probably can see be that. down for. Yeah, I can yeah. see that. Yeah. Oh my god, you get Brie Larson and Samuel Jackson playing magic with you. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Like a motherfucking island. Wow. They, somebody get them on game nights. Come on. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Game nights. Get it together. Get some oh, good shoot. guests. What, oh, what's her name? Um, uh, She was in Thor. Not, not Natalie Portman. The other... Um, the Valkyrie? No, 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 no. Uh, she was also in um, what is it like, Poor Girls or, or the sister? In... Yeah, the Cat Thor's Kat sister. Dennings. Yeah, Cat Dennings. Oh, the yeah, the friend. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. she'd be awesome. Yeah, she's plus she's funny. like ridiculously good looking, but you know. Yeah, she was in um, she was in the the uh, WandaVision. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's funny. I bet. Yeah, she'd be good. She'd be fun to play with. Oh shit! Um, fuck. What's her name? Who plays Wanda in Marvel? Oh my god! Olsen. Why am I forgetting her name? What's her name? Olsen. Mary Kate and Ashley. It's the younger sister, <laughs> Elizabeth Olsen. Elizabeth. Yeah, that's it. She'd be cool. I think she'd be cool. Yeah. I, okay, so just everybody who's in, like, all of the Marvel movies, pretty yeah. much. Cardi B playing Magic? <laughs> Cardi B? <laughs> yes! What, how, like, how do you even hold cards with, like, those long nails? Right. I don't know. Yeah. I don't either. That would be amazing. Oh, my gosh. And that would hilarious. be. Wow. So just pretty much every celebrity we we want to play Magic with us. Let's yes. go. Let's go. Except for the trash ones. Yeah. Whoever we don't want movie. trash. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on to our games. Yes. We have like gone off so off topic. I know, but right? I love it. Like the like the rabbit trails. It's it's bad tonight. The rabbit trails. <laughs> yeah. We've gone off on the rabbit trails tonight. So Okay. Um, okay, so our first game is not really a game. Um, we are going to each talk about what our favorite card was from Modern Horizons 2. But no, we're not going to talk about it. We're going to draw it. And oh, shit. you all are going to have to guess the card. And I'm gonna oh, do, do you and I get to guess? Too, yeah, we're going to just... guess too. Okay. I'm going to so, be really bad at this because I don't know any of the names of the cards. Can I at least pull up, like, the full set list? So oh, could... sure. Sure, 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 okay. sure. Okay, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, because I, I think I could never guess any of the cards. Um, I mean, like, my favorite card from the set, it's probably, you know, it's, like, probably one you've heard of, one of the better cards, right? I'm not going to pick, like, a random yeah. common or something, you know. All right, you, you go first since you're probably the better artist. Okay, you want me to go first. Okay, how do I use yeah. this... How do I use this thing? Okay. Okay, I'm going to do like a test down here. Okay, it's working. Okay. okay. All right, yeah, I saw it. Okay. I saw that. I want my line to be thinner. Um, There is a... a toggle size. So, like, so, is this it? Yeah, there's the size. So like, yeah, see, I was able to make that thinner, changing oh. the size. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Okay, okay, here we go. I'm drawing. Should should we set, like, a time limit for how long we can draw before you have to guess it, or? No, I, I think until someone guesses okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. You just Because that, that's going to make it way too complicated. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm beginning. Oh, man, I'm already doing, I'm already doing poorly. I'm already oh, doing, God. I'm already doing poorly. What? A, a, so, a circle. Okay. Three. Hold on. What the hell Hold is on. That? Hold on. Okay. Those are really broad shoulders. <laughs> Give me a minute here. Oh, I think I know what card it is, but I want you to keep drawing it. <laughs> Okay. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what card it is. No, you don't. 
Yes, I do. And Efren's already guessed it, too. It's the Asmora Dikadarka. You man, have to man, say man, it. Man, you man, have man. to say it. Asmora Nomarda Dikadastanakol Dakar. Yes! That's it. Wait, I want to oh, keep like, drawing it, though. Yeah, keep drawing it. Is that like, this what is the hell a, is that? That's her ponytail, okay? Oh, that's a ponytail? Okay. okay. I'm doing my best! <laughs> <laughs> this is oh, a we got, so, scorpion. So, so for everyone listening at home and not watching this, you, do yourself a favor right now. Stop. Go on Pixie Kitten's YouTube channel, and you need to see this drawing. It, it's amazing. This is actually, like, so freaking good. Yeah. Like, this is better than the actual artist. Um, move mm -hmm. over, Ryan Pancoast. No offense, Ryan. But right? yeah, this is good. <laughs> Holy heck. This should have been the sketch card. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Like, it needs an alternate version. Why isn't there one? <laughs> Just like your alternate version of um the card you previewed. Yeah, um, Archfiend of Sorrows. Yes. Yeah, I know, right? Um, Yeah, so that's my card. That's my favorite card from the set. Sweet. That was yeah. actually pretty good. Yeah. I liked it. You okay. All guessed it. Okay, now you go. Now you go. All right, I gotta try to find the color. How do you? Oh, here we go. Okay. So is that the color? Oh, wait, no. What's the? Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. All right, that should be there. Okay. I'm. I'm just. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. You're just figuring out how it works. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, because this has been forever since we've done this. I know. Um, okay, all right. How the fuck do I draw this? All right. All right, so I'm going to start drawing. Burr, 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 burr. Oh, my Ooh. gosh. Okay, I'm going to have to pull up the list of cards. Ooh. Oh, I forgot the shoulders. Oh, well. Oh, it's something that has shoulders. <laughs> Is it a blue card? Oh. No, it's not. It's not? <laughs> it's not a blue card. What the hell is that in front of it? I don't, I don't know believe what's in you. front of that. Is that like a... a Something with its arm up? Yeah. Okay. And it's and not a blue card. It's not a blue card. Okay. Like a, a little one behind it. Oh, is it a squirrel? No, it's not a squirrel. Oh, shoot. I don't know what's in front of it, though. There's something in front of the <laughs> the thing, but I don't know. Oh, it's got like a little necklace thing or like a little power gem. Oh. On it. Okay. Baltan says Academy Manufacturer. Yes, that is correct. What does that look like? It's supposed to be like a big robot. Oh, oh my gosh. It's not bad. It's what? not bad. It's fine. It's not that bad, actually. <laughs> I'm trying yeah, like, to show it. Yeah, like, if you look at the actual card, like, I don't know what's in front of that thing. I can't tell. It's actually not bad. <laughs> Wait, I haven't even seen this card. You, This is your favorite card from the set? Yeah, because look what it does. It's amazing. If you would create a clue, food, or treasure token, instead create one of each? Wow. So for, imagine that for Corvald. Yeah, that is good. Yeah. I want this card so bad. I don't know what's in front of it. Yeah, I can't tell. Like, I don't know, but. But you did it. You did it. Yep. And it, it's not that bad. You can tell what it is. Somewhat. Yeah. You know? <laughs> nice, nice, nice. I like it. Uh, so let's go. Let's play our second game. This is one you have set up for us. Yes, we're going to do the good old fan favorite of Guess the Card Price. So let me oh, get my hey. screen set up here. Um, I need to share my screen in Discord. Uh, where's Discord? There's Discord. Okay, I'm sharing my screen now. Okay. Oh, let me pull up my little notepad. 
Okay, and let me pull up the chat too so I can see the chat. Because this is going to be a game where chat is going to be able to um, join in with us. Nice. So, okay. You ready to go? So this is guess the card price in case I if you're listening for the, or watching for the first time. So yes. we, pull up, we pull up random cards of Magic the Gathering and we try to guess the card price of it. And the printing of it will be specified. So if you're listening at home... Uh, you'll hear the the what set it comes from and whether it's foil or not. And you got to try to guess the card price without going over the actual price of the card. And we use all cardsphere.com prices as, as of the day of we record this. Mm -hmm. So so I got all these prices like maybe four or five hours ago. Mm -hmm. So they should be relatively up to date. Fresh unless something prices. spiked. Yeah. yeah. So, um... So all the cards have a theme set with Modern Horizons coming out tomorrow. Uh, these are all going to be extremely popular modern staples. So Efren says he just gonna... updated all the prices. Shut up, Efren. <laughs> okay. Ooh. So, so our first card okay. is the Japanese Strixhaven Mystical Archive version of Lightning Bolt. Ooh. This is not foil. So go ahead and try to guess the price of Holy the Japanese crap. Strixhaven Mystical Archive of Lightning Bolt without going over. I have no idea. I'm going to just say $8. I have no idea. $8, okay. I'll type okay, it in chat. For... So okay. my, mine is there too. All right, we got an answer from Pat Crack. What yeah, about everybody hand? in chat, put in your answers too. Yeah, put in your answers if you want to participate. You get to win exactly, um, you get to win our respect. Yes. Ooh. And adoration and love. Yep, it's true. It's true. So is it just Efren and Baltan? Well, I'll give it another... And me. ...couple seconds or so. And if we get no one, then it's just those three, which is fine. That, that increases my chances of winning. That is true. That is true. So, all right. So, so with Efren, yourself, and Baltan answering with 11, the actual retail price of the Japanese Mystical Archive of Lightning Bolt is $23.80. Oh, dang! Efren was just over. Yeah, he went over. E Sorry, so Baltan wins that one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So right, good Baltan. job, Baltan. That card's right. twenty three dollars. Wow. Yo, that's nuts. All right, our next one is the signature spellbook of Gideon Ooh. of Path to Exile. <gasps> oh wow. Okay. The non foil version. I'll, I'll I'll make sure to specify whether it's foil or not. Okay. So signature spellbook. Gosh, yep. I don't know if this if these would be worth more or worth less. I don't know. All depends. Path to Exile. I feel like that's a card a lot of people use. Mm-hmm. It's a very popular modern card. All right, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say eight dollars again. <laughs> I okay. might be way over. I don't know. All right. So with you three. Um, the actual retail price of Path to Exile is $4.48. Dang so, Baltan, you get it again. Baltan! <laughs> Baltan, you're not looking up these prices, are you? I think he might. Baltan, that is not allowed. I don't think he is, but... All right, our next one. Our next one is good old Thought Seize. Oh, good old Thought Seize. But this is the Time Spiral remastered foil of Thought oh Seize. Oh my gosh. So go uh, ahead check, go ahead and guess some um, twenty what you two dollars. Okay. What? Four hundred and fifteen dollars? Oh my god. <laughs> All right, so we have the three. We have the three answers here. Oh my gosh, you guys are out of crazy. control. Um, the actual retail price for the Time Spiral Remastered Foil of Thought Seas is 
three hundred and sixty one dollars and sixty six cents. So Pixie, you technically win. What the hell? Three hundred dollars? Yup. It's Why? pretty expensive. Because it's thought seas. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so you win because you didn't go over on, like, those two. Even though I wasn't close. <laughs> you weren't close at all. Oh, my God. Oh, man, that was good, though. Uh, that was good. That card right. is... Wow, I'm shocked. Oh, wait, hold on. Did I skip a card? Did you? Oh, no, oh, oh hold on. No, no, I didn't. Okay. Um, I just got my, my notepad all mixed up. Okay, so next card is good old Snapcaster Mage. From Innistrad. Yeah. Nothing fancy. Okay. I'm going to say $45. Okay. All right. What's Pack Crack and Baltan? Am I way prices? too high? I don't know. I have no idea. Mm. 16, you do know. 50, 60, okay. I do know. I'm way too right. low. So the actual retail price for Snapcaster Mage is seventy-two dollars and one cent. So Baltan, <gasps> you got this. Baltan again. Man, I, thought, I thought Efren was supposed to like be good at this. I That's... know, right? Mm. Sorry, but it's like supposed to be your job, Efren. Right. Mm. All right. So another blue card, really popular modern card, Force and Negation. This is the Modern Horizons foil version of force negation um, the foil version of force negation $35 this is a gross card oh my gosh damn y'all are wild 75 and 95 Wow, All right, so the actual gosh. retail price is two hundred and fifty-one dollars <gasps> and eight cents. <laughs> no! Stop! Man, what? Man, no, no one got close to the actual price. But Baltan got the closest. He got the closest, so he wins. All right, Baltan. All right. These cards are so gross. They are. I mean, they're all modern cards. What do you expect? I, I, I have no idea. Clearly. All right, so our next one is the Stoneforge Mystic Judge Promo card. This is the Judge Promo, and, and it is foil, too. Um, $700. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> is that what you're really putting? $70. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so um everyone's gonna have to guess again. You all went to over. What? I thought yep. these judge things were special. Not all of them. Okay, I said twenty-three this time. Okay. Everyone went over, so Efren and Baltan, guess again. Wow. Is that 45, 30? Okay, so the actual retail price for Stoneforge Mystic, the judge promo, according to cartsphere.com, is $46.49. So, Efren, you are on the board. Wow. Let's go, Efren. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. All right. I love this game because I love seeing the <laughs> answers. They're just so everywhere. I know. I'm so bad at this. And and this one is a little bit harder because it's all modern stuff. And yeah. I, I, I'm looking at some of this. Like, if I was trying to guess, I'd have no idea because some of these cards are just everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, next up is good old Transformers Walking Ballista Secret Layer. I have this card. Oh, that's right. You do, don't you? I do. So what would be Walking Ballista Secret Layer printing be? $22. Okay. All right, and what do we got for Baltan? We I have this Pixie one in Efren. my Colfinor deck. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that'd be perfect in Colfinor. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Baltan says 40 So the actual retail price of Walking Ballista Secret Layer is $29.99. So Pixie, <gasps> yes! you got this. That's two for me. Yep. Baltan has one, two, three, four. 
You've got two and Pix or Efren's got one. I'm yep, I've got more than Efren. It's all that yep. matters. It's all that matters, yep. All right. Next up is the Shards of Alara printing of Relic of Progenitus. Uh what even is that card? I've like I've heard of the rest it, of all of these, but never this one. It, it, it's really um it's a really good card to get rid of, like, graveyards and oh, dredge wow. in modern. So if you look at it, like, you pay one, exile it, and remove all graveyards from the game. So it's a really good card. Um, I'm going to say $18. Oh, okay. I'm too high. So hmm. the actual retail price of Relic of Progenitus is $4.58. So oh Efren does get gosh. it. Oh my god, Efren. Efren tied with me now. Ben. He is. He is. All right, we got a few more. We got a few more. All right. Okay. Our our next one is the Whoa. Amonkhet Invocation of Blood Moon. Whoa. This is a extremely popular sideboard card in modern. Turns all the lands into mountains. Not seventeen dollars. Okay. <gasps> <laughs> Damn, Efren. 250? 120? So the actual retail price of Blood Moon the Amonkhet Invocation is $92.98. So Pixie, you win. Yes! <laughs> You're the only one who didn't go over. <laughs> I said $17 and it was 90 <laughs> but hey, a hey, win's a closest. win. You're the closest. So you are beating yeah. Efren. All right. All right. So, so this next card. The price of this really surprised me. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. Um, and it's Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger, the Battle for Zendikar pre-release promo. I'm going to say uh, the price surprised you. So mm -hmm. I, I'm going to say I'm going to say it's low, lower than you expected. I'm gonna I'm say not, uh, that, that's that's all I'm saying. I'm not gonna $23. say twenty three dollars. Oh my gosh! You every keep guessing so low. Every price is surprising me clearly. <laughs> so, so I'm just gonna say the regular printing of this card is like almost eighty dollars. So, oh, okay. Which completely surprised me, just the regular printings. But the Battle for Zendikar promo is actually retailing at $285.85. Oh my so god! Baltan, Baltan got this. Yeah, it's crazy. I did not know this card was this so expensive now. Yeah, I don't know any of these being this expensive, clearly. I'm just yeah. shocked. All right, we got two more cards left, and the... I think Baltan will probably take this away because he's got five. <sighs> Pixie's got three. You, you'd have to get the next two in order oh, to tie. Gosh. Then we can do like a we can do a tie runoff. We'll see if I can even pull that off. All right. Next up is Valakut the Molten Pinnacle. Just the just the Zendikar printing. No foil. No special pre-release promo. Just the regular version of Valakut. Hey, nitpicking nerds. Seven dollars. Hi, welcome. Putting seven dollars. Okay. I have no idea. This card right. doesn't seem very good. Oh no, it's really good. Okay. Fifty dollars and fifteen. Okay, the actual retail price for Valakut the Molten Pinnacle is twenty-four dollars and fifty-four cents. So unfortunately, ah! Baltan does take run away with the game because we got one card left. Wait. Okay. Okay, but so how is this card good? Though? So um, if you look up the card Scape Shift, which is you sacrifice any number of lands and then you put that many lands on the battlefield. So you would want to get this card out and then a crap ton of mountains. Because it says if you control at least five other mountains, you may have this deal three damage to target creature or player. Yeah, okay. So, so you would just so... get like... A, like a 10 way to, mountains out. So there's a way to get all of those at one time. Yeah. Okay. I see. Yeah. Just like, I don't know that. So like just reading this card alone, like, I mean, it's it's fine, but I'm not like, this yeah, should yeah. be a, a $50 a, a card. Doesn't seem like, yeah, it, 
yeah, alone it doesn't seem that good, but mm -hmm. when you play it in decks like Scape Shift, it's it can be it's a killer. Gotcha. Hmm. All right. So our next card is probably a modern fan favorite of anyone who plays modern. Um, Not it is the antiquities printing of Urza's Tower with the mountains in the background. So a little fun fact, Pixie. Mm -hmm. um, in the early sets of Magic, there were a lot of cards like like the Urza lands. Um, there's even like combat medic. Um, they made cards that had different arts on them. But they they'd all be like in the, within the same set, not like how we have special extended art and alternate arts and all that stuff. They right. They, so like Urza's Tower has four different printings and antiquities. Okay, I said five hundred dollars. So nitpicking nerds is seventeen. <laughs> I guess too low every time. So I was like, I'm you gonna go. Me. I'm going. I'm going you big. Really, really high. I'm going big. $60. Well, newcomer to the stream actually got it the closest. Nitpicking nerds. Uh, it, The actual retail price is $27.22. Oh my gosh. Wow. I think Baltan was still our winner though. Yeah, yeah. Baltan's still the winner because this was the last card. Um, mm. Baltan's still the winner. So Baltan, you get Baltan. to choose an emoji in chat to spam. Yeah, Baltan. Let's go. What are we gonna spam? <laughs> <laughs> what what emoji are we gonna spam in chat, Baltan? Here, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. I got you. Don't uh, worry. I got you. I uh, obviously like. I'm never good at that game. I don't even know. It's tough. It's like like I think especially this one was really tough because some of these prices completely surprised me. Yeah, and and I, like if it's not a card, I. I have personally like looked for to buy. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah, and especially since you don't play modern, um, you're gonna have no idea like yeah. the prices of those cards. No. So, so Baltan chose the Pock Gengar. <laughs> Efren. Or is it Poke Gengar? Efren, you didn't do it right. Wow, Efren. Efren, there's just words. Uh, <laughs> Efren. Efren. Come on. You can't even spam the emoji right, Efren. Man. <sighs> I'm disappointed, Efren. Please, Efren. Well, I think that's going to be our show for tonight. Yeah, it was we've, a good show. We've talked about a little bit of magic and a lot of everything else. Yes. Uh, Yeah, so... Let me find somebody to send a raid to. And I will go ahead and get that set up. <gasps> Unicorn Fluff! Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to raid Unicorn Fluff. I bet she's playing EDH. Probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. And then um, we'll imagine the fade to black. Oh, yeah. You're just going to have to imagine the fade to black. I'm sorry. Yeah. I can't actually make that happen. Uh, we, can't, but... we can't soft close the show. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. We can't. We're going to try to soft close the show. Um, by We're, we're going to slowly, like, melt down in our chairs. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So thank you, everybody, for hanging out with us tonight. We love you. Oh. We will see you next time, and this is our soft close. Bye. I don't even know if can you can see me. Oh, God. Bye. Bye. I can't get up. Shit. Oh, fuck. I think I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, we did it. We raided. We raided. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs>